Here are the community updates on January 22nd. For the first time since March 12th, in-person classes are back in action for Grand Rapids Public Schools. On Tuesday, GRPS began its hybrid in-person learning model for students, which sees them in class at their schools for two days of the week and online the rest. Students participating in the hybrid in-person model are split into two different weekly schedules to enable pandemic-related deep cleaning and proper physical distancing. The return of in-person learning for students comes as Kent County's COVID-19 test positivity rate, the percentage of tests coming back positive, has continued to slightly decline. Teachers and staff at GRPS are also now eligible to receive COVID-19 vaccinations. GRPS grab-and-go meal sites are also still available for families Mondays through Fridays from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. Exceptions are Blanford School, Museum Middle, Museum High, North Park Montessori, and Zoo School. The Grand Rapids Public Museum is opening a new exhibit on Saturday highlighting artwork created by local artists of color that promotes racial justice. Called Windows GR, the exhibit features three large-scale art pieces that originated from the plywood that covered many windows of downtown Grand Rapids businesses over summer 2020. Three artists behind the pieces are Jalexa Stoutmeyer, Guillermo Sotelo, and Devante Barnes. The Windows GR exhibit at the GRPM is now part of its permanent collection and will be on display on the museum's second floor. Backgrounds on the exhibit's featured artists are available on the GRPM's website. Artist and venue registration dates for Art Prize 2021 have been announced as the International Art Competition gears up for its return to downtown Grand Rapids this September. Through its websites, artists interested in participating may apply between April 19th and June 10th. Venues interested in featuring artists' work may apply between April 1st and April 15th. Our Prize 2021 takes place September 16th through October 3rd. $450,000 in grants and prizes will be awarded this year, with more details from organizers forthcoming. Governor Whitmer announced that indoor dining at restaurants and bars across Michigan will reopen on February 1st with a 10 p.m. curfew. As part of the revised emergency order issued by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, restaurants and bars will be limited to 25% capacity or 100 people. Details can be found on their website. The Grand Rapids Asian Pacific Foundation is hosting a live stream virtual Lunar New Year celebration on February 12th. The celebration will stream a variety of cultural performances happening around downtown Grand Rapids, including dance performances, musical performances, and more. Details can be found at the GR Asian Foundation Facebook page. The Rapidian encourages local residents to share their own stories related to civic, economic, and public health developments in the Grand Rapids area on the Rapidian's platform. The featured articles for this week include Ethics and Religion Talk by Rabbi Chris Sheff, articles by Compra New and Dwelling Place, and an article on Mayan Buzz Cafe by community reporter Brandon Martinez Mahangos. To get started as a community reporter, visit the Rapidian.org slash write. This video is supported by the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs, the Lowell Arts Center, and the National Endowment for the Arts. This update is brought to you by the Rapidian, GRTV, and the Grand Rapids Community Media Center. Take care of each other.